we'll get to that later. Um, talk about your background. You, I mean, you're a licensed therapist. Um, what led you down that path? And uh, and then what are you, you have a perspective that's maybe a little, little bit different than some other therapists or a typical therapist, right? So can you talk about that a bit? Well, starting back at Thanksgiving day dinners, uh, my grandmother's a social worker, my uncle's a social worker. And when I would sit at the table as a kid and hear these conversations about behavior modification and, uh, you know, social learning theory, I was intrigued, but I also didn't know what, what they were talking about initially. So over the years, they kind of groomed me to understanding more about those things. And uh, when I when I was deciding where to go to college, uh, I, I wasn't convinced that it was for me, right? Uh, and so my mom just gave me a book and uh, it was all the liberal arts schools and told me to read it from cover to cover and find my school. Uh, so what I did was uh, I opened it to three pages uh, and applied to those three. Uh, I got in to, to all three of those schools. <laughs> and, and that's how I started with my sociology degree. Um, and, and frankly, the school that I chose was because the volleyball coach told me, you are a diamond in the rough and we will uh, start you freshman year. Oh, I bet. I'll be yeah. there. Right? Uh, so, so that's how I began with sociology. Then for social work, uh, I, I was interning uh, in, in undergrad at the Philadelphia Center um, TPC. So it's, it's a, a place where there's community support through lawyers. And so I was able to see from a social worker lens uh, that, that amazing holistic approach to solving problems, including an attorney, including, you know, different aspects of what you needed to truly get a problem solved. And so I, I applied for social work school um, and, I, and I chose to go to my grandmother's alma mater. She was uh, in the first class at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and it ranked high uh, as a school so uh, for social work. And, and so that's where I went. And while I was there, uh, for those two years, you know, a lot of my colleagues uh, or uh, classmates, they wanted to, they wanted to change the world through therapy. And I just thought, you know, who am I to tell people what to do or how to live their lives? I have zero desire to do that. I want to be in macro social work. So I uh, interned at the state Capitol um, with Representative Tamara Grigsby. I uh, also uh, interned through the United Way and put on this great symposium for all of the school social workers in Dane County. Um, and, and I was involved in you know, selecting the, the speakers and developing the, the agenda and you know just planning, that's but awesome. planning, planning for greater social impact. And, and that's where I got, you know, my passion was ignited through those things. And so then I went to apply for, for jobs because I thought, you know, I want to go into social policy. Uh, I want to make changes at this, this bigger level. And I was told, you know, you need to have like two years or three years under your belt of practical experience before. Uh, and, and so I also was told, you know, as a black woman, um, and whether or not this is true, but at the time I was told, you know, people aren't going to listen to you if you're you're trying to be uh, a lobbyist, right? You're going to have greater challenges. It didn't necessarily dissuade me, but if I wasn't getting the positions, I wasn't going to be able to do the work. So I started out uh, in traditional therapy setting. Um, and when I say traditional, I've never worked like a office therapy job. That's just not for me. I yeah. miss myself at a very young age. My, my mother's a, a finance manager and I would go to work with her until like seven, eight o'clock at night, just coloring while she was finishing her work at the computer. I've always done community social work jobs. So I'm either driving out to you to meet with you for a session uh, or, or we're walking outdoors uh, in, in nature and making connections that way. So, uh, so I say all that to say that uh, I, I definitely am not the traditional social worker. Yeah. 
and yet uh, what I find the greatest joy in is, is making authentic relationships. And I'm able to do that through uh, my business and through connecting people to themselves. And, and I learned that uh, through holding up the mirror in, in countless therapy sessions where people were saying, what's the answer? And I was saying, the answer is in you. Let's unpack this and find this together. And that's part of what guided me to, to facilitating these mindfulness experiences. And 